And we're rolling. Hi, I'm WDET's Morning Edition host, Pat Batchelor, along with Detroit Today producer and uh, longtime sports guy here in Detroit, Art Regner. Uh, we just learned a moment ago that uh, Calvin Johnson is retiring from the Detroit Lions. Uh, he played nine seasons in the NFL in Art. Uh, not really much of a surprise here. I mean, we've been talking about this. He hinted at it uh, at the uh, end of the season uh, here that uh, he was certainly thinking about retirement. Uh, nine seasons doesn't seem like a long time, but we can, when you consider the pounding that a wide receiver takes. Right. So, you know, certainly it, it's a sad day. Uh, but I want to say, unlike Barry, I mean, Barry hardly ever was injured during his NFL career, and he was on the verge of setting the NFL all-time leading rushing record that season, and he decided to walk away from the game. So that was really a stunner, and he did it just before training camp. This is something I think that he was contemplating a long time, and Pat, I think you hit it right on the head. Calvin has had injuries in his nine-year career, and I think because of the lack of... Uh, a success on the field by the Detroit Lions, I think it was pretty easy to figure out, you know, you stop Calvin Johnson, chances are you're going to stop the Detroit Lions. So he was double covered, triple covered a lot. I think he got frustrated over the seasons. And for the Lions not being able to, I think, to get over the hump and the way his body felt, and he's made a lot of money, let's be honest, he probably figured... I don't want to be 50 years old and have to have, you know, a knee replacement or at 65 be in a wheelchair or something. You know, I, I can get out. I'm relatively healthy and I'm a very wealthy person. And it just makes uh, the numbers that he put up that much more impressive because he was double covered so often. I mean, uh, all time team leader in receiving yards, over 11,083 touchdown receptions, the most in team history, six time pro bowler. Uh, you know, if, if, and that's just, and that's as you said well, with, the, with two guys covering or even three sometimes. You know, every great athlete that I that I've ever really covered or talked to, they all say the same thing. When you first get into the league, you're only hoping to be in the league for a couple of years and where you can make some money and and maybe you know have enough money where you can uh, have financial stability for your immediate family and maybe for future generations. And then you get a little bit older and maybe then you're starting to figure well, hey, I'm pretty good. You, you look for some individual records or, you know, to shoot for some certain things because, hey, wouldn't it be nice to be up there with, uh, you know, for, you know, Raymond Barry or somebody. God, my gosh, am I really dating myself? But but you know what I'm saying. Right. Somebody up there, you know, who's who was a legendary receiver. But then towards the end of it, when you know that you're in the quote unquote fourth quarter of your career, you start to want to win championships. I mean, winning actually takes precedent. And it's throughout the board, regardless, as I said, of the sport. And in all honesty, I think Calvin Johnson's looking at it and thinking, how close are we really to winning? We've got another general manager in here. Who knows what's going to happen to Jim Caldwell? So I think when he added up everything, it made sense that this is the proper time to walk away from the game. And it's good timing, too, for the Lions anyway, because uh, as we're recording this, tomorrow, uh, March 9th, is the start of the league's new year. And they needed to know before then, uh, because the free agent period, uh, free agent signing period starts soon, and they needed to know if they were going to have his contract on the books for next season, uh, what kind of a salary cap hit they were going to take. Um, but at the same time, it leaves a huge vacuum. I mean, who steps in to replace a guy like Calvin Johnson uh, in this Lions offense? Well, that's the million dollar question. That's why Bob Quinn was hired, uh, quite frankly. Uh, I'm not sure what they do. Do they address it in free agency? Do they think that maybe a, a certain combination, they, they take their number one draft pick and, and besides Calvin, we know that it hasn't really worked out too well when they draft a receiver with the first pick overall. Do they Charles build, Rogers. <laughs> right, right, do we build up the, uh, uh, yeah, Roy Williams was all right, but you know, do, do Mike Williams, yeah, Mike Williams, right. And do we, uh, uh, or, or do we build up our offensive line? I mean, that's why it's interesting. You know, you, you, we finally have a, a general manager here in Detroit who I think knows how to build a football team or has seen a football team built and where they've built it, where New England, you know, New England switched personnel a lot. They have a lot of lower draft picks that play for them and, you know, they're not afraid to make changes. So Calvin Johnson walking away from the Detroit Lions, I think with Bob Quinn, as their general manager and coming from that New England system where they've replaced a lot of players, I don't think he's freaking out. I think if anything, he's relieved because he knows what he has to do now, and then he can get to work. So I think that that's pretty much uh, what, what's going to happen. I think it's interesting. I think the thing that we'll find out maybe in later weeks, Pat, is if Calvin was trying to force the Lions' hand to see if they would cut him so he could sign with another team, mm -hmm. or is he really truly done with the game? I think at this point, you got to say he's done with the game. Hall of Famer? Oh, without question. That's it. Thanks.